hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, in today's video uh, we are going to simulate and analyze the performance of uh, tcp using uh, cisco packet tracer before that let us see what is tcp so tcp is transmission control protocol which is a connection oriented protocol uh, connection oriented protocol means it ensures uh, reliable delivery of uh, data packets across the network devices so uh, here uh, connection oriented protocol means it has three steps first connection is established uh, use uh, during connection establishment uh, the synchronized packet is sent from the client to the surfer, server and then for each uh, connection establishment uh, uh, there is an acknowledge sent back from the server to the client uh, and uh, after the acknowledgement is sent the client again sends uh, back an acknowledgement to the server after the connection is established uh, then only the data packet is uh, transferred and once all the data packets are transferred then the connection is terminated so uh, this uh, connection oriented protocol has three steps that is connection establishment um, uh, data packet transfer and connection termination and this uh, ha uses the feature that is three way handshaking and this takes care of the flow control uh, congestion control and uh, packet retransmission on loss so let us uh, go back to our cisco packet tracer to simulate the simulate the tcp uh, protocol so now let us create the network topology uh, for it we will drag uh, two end devices uh, uh, one pc and then a server and in a network device we will drag um, switch and uh, and a router now we have to uh, connect them all using copper straight through wire and after all the connections are made we have to configure it uh, configure them by adding their uh, IP addresses click on each device is config and uh, go here and add the ip ip address 192.168.11.1 and click on to configure the router now add the ip address for the uh, pc0 192.168.11.1 subnet mask will be automatically generate uh, configured and you have to give default gateway for them uh, uh, more about this default gateway i will uh, uh, i will explain this in upcoming videos for now our uh, uh, router ip address will be our default gateway which is 192.168.11.1 and ip address for the server let us give it as 198 sorry 192.168.11.10 and uh, default gateway is router's IP address which is 192.168.11.1 now we have configured this setup and we will go to simulation tab to simulate it all attributes edit filters go to edit filters miscellaneous to to add tcp protocol click on tcp click no now uh, now go to pc0 web browser you have to type the url of this service server we are sending the request message from pc0 to the server so server url uh, that is 192.168.11.10 and click on go you can see a packet is created now let us start simulating it it is going from switch and it is this is connection connection establishment once the connection is established now acknowledgement is sent back from the server to the system and after the acknowledgement has been received the real data packet is again 
sent from PC0 to server. Now let us see the PDU table uh, for this. As you can see, uh, you can see TCP syn synchronous and acknowledgement header. Uh, this uh, tells us that uh, uh, TCP protocol has been uh, used uh, for sending a packet from or uh, sending information from PC0 to server. Here we, are, we have monitored the TCP behavior. We have observed the three-way handshaking which contains synchronous sync acknowledgement and acknowledgement. This is how TCP establishes connection. After connection establishment, the data packets are sent. Uh, we can see acknowledgement being sent back. So if there is any delay or loss, TCP automatically retransmit those packets. So this simulation clearly demonstrates how TCP ensures reliable data transmission using flow control, congestion control and acknowledgement mechanism. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more such networking tutorials.